So I'm going to jump right in and put my thread on my thread holder and put the cap on. Next, I'm going to take the thread and put it um, behind this little metal piece on the top. I'm pointing it to it right now, that little piece right there. Then I'm going to put it behind the other metal piece. I'm pointing to it right now. You see there, it's, it needs to go through that opening. Then I'm gonna take the thread and pull it all the way down and around. And then to the left again in that middle piece, metal piece, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to let the thread hang. Next, you're going to put the, put the thread in this little piece that's on the needle bar right there. I'm pointing to it now. And then you're going to thread the needle um, going from the front to the back. And there's the eye of the needle right there. So it's going to be go to the front to the back. Make sure the end of your thread is uh, cut nicely. It'll help you thread the, the needle. So once the thread is in the eye of the needle, just put the thread to the left. Now we're going to talk about doing the bobbin. So I have some thread already on the bobbin. And this is kind of tricky doing it with one hand, so I'm going to explain it. Um, so you're going to put the bobbin inside the bobbin case which is that is this piece right here. It's just going to slip right in there. Then the thread is going to be pulled under that little lip right there. My thumb is pointing to it. And then you're going to pull the thread a little bit till it gets to this hole. So the lip is right there where my thumb is. You're going to pull it and then pull it all the way until it gets to the the hole of the bobbin case right there and this is what it should look like so now we're going to put the bobbin in the bobbin area <laughs> um, i can't do it with one hand but there's a lip right there on the bobbin the bobbin case you're going to pull that up and then put it in the machine and it should click. You should vis you know, actually hear some a click when you push it in. And it should be not nice and snug, not moving. It can move a tiny bit, but it should be good to go. Then um, you always pull the, the hand wheel towards you anyway. So everything's good to go. You're going to pull the uh, hand wheel towards you and the thread is going to, the bobbin thread is going to come up out of the hole. So once the bobbin thread uh, comes up, then you're going to take something small and you're going to push both the thread and the bobbin thread to the back. So you have tails. Just like that. Now, after that, we're going to close that up and it is ready to sew. So let's go. I wish you could hear it because um, my husband's working in the wood shop below. So <laughs> he's running the CNC, so you can't hear the sewing machine. But now that the machine has been oiled and serviced and everything is cleaned, um, and everything is in working order it it sews wonderfully and i'll be giving this sewing machine away to somebody that needs it uh, so i just appreciate that you that y'all took the time to watch it watch me do this um, so and there you have it um everything's good to go looks really good so that's how you thread a sewing machine. Most of most sewing machines are 
almost the same. So it doesn't matter if you have this exact model or, or not, it's basically the same. Um, and if it's not, just refer to your manual. But thanks for watching.